Good morning, children. This week, you have been focusing on the recycled story of Beetle Likes to Eat. Now, today, you are going to be independently telling the story. But I've also got an extra task for you to complete. I would like you to write some sentences about what the butterfly, the millipede and the slug like to eat. So I'm going to show you and we can work this out together. So the butterfly, what does the butterfly like to eat? Can you remember? Yeah, that's it. The butterfly likes to slurp on the nectar, he likes to on the nectar. So we are going to write the butterfly slurps the nectar. Now the, that's our tricky word. We need to remember our capital T, so the. Butterfly, b -b 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 -b. butterfly, b -a -t -t -t. Er, butter, fly. Now slurp's a bit of a tricky word. S oh, er, slurps. The, our tricky word again, the. Gonna spell nectar. N -e -n -e -e -k -k -t -er. And full stop. The butterfly slurps the nectar. Well done. The next animal is the millipede. Can anyone remember what the millipede does? The millipede chews on wood. So we are going to write the word, the, again, our tricky word, but we must remember a capital letter. So we've got the. Now we mustn't forget our finger space. The millipede. This word is a bit of a tricky word again. M -m -e -p -e -d -p -e -d the millipede. Choose, choose, ch -e -e. choose on. Now you can pinch this on, on, on finger space wood. What? Full stop. The millipede chews on wood. And then the last animal, can anyone remember what the last one is? That's right, it's the slug. And the slug likes to munch on leaves. So we're gonna spell the word the again. Tricky word, capital T. The slug, S -u -a -g. slug, munches. Now this is a bit of a tricky word. M, mm. a, ah. m, mm. cheese, s, munches, on, o, oh. m, mm. on, leaves, e, a, s, full stop. The slug munches on leaves. Shall we read them all together one more time? The butterfly slurps the nectar. The millipede chews on wood. The slug munches on leaves. Now I want you to have a try of writing these sentences, remembering your finger spaces and your full stop. And I want to see if you can sound the words out yourself. You can use your fingers to pinch the sounds. And remember to upload your work onto Class Dojo where we can see it. See you later.